Hi, my name's Vicky. I'm going to show you the three new products that County have just brought out as their new range. The first one I'm going to show you is the scrim sheet, what it's used for, the features and the benefits, and how to fit it. So we throw the scrim sheet over the horse, starting by pulling it back from the withers all the way to the back of the horse. Okay, the snaps on the front of the scrim sheet are adjustable, so we have a fully adjustable chest. Okay, I'm going to show you how to do up the front of this blanket. We take the snaps, snap them onto a D-ring which you think is more comfortable for the horse. As you can notice, at the top of here, we're way above the wither. This blanket should not pull back on the chest. We take the second snap, snap it on the first or the second D-ring, depending on chest appropriate for the horse. At this point, you can adjust the buckles here. They have several holes where we can make the blanket tighter or looser, depending on the comfort of the horse. Okay, as you can see, we have an embroidered county logo, the dressage logo on the blue, the jumper logo on the green. We have a feature here, which is the elastic leg straps, which are fully removable. To adjust the leg straps, you simply just move the runner, place it between the horse's leg and back to your D-ring at the back of the blanket. The D-rings are in reinforced. This should help with any problem of the D-rings pulling through the blanket. We've added an ornamental hip braid as it's for the show circuit. It just pretties up the blanket with a matching ornamental cord that goes around the outside of the blanket. At the back, you'll see that the ornamental hip braid has a tail guard. If you're not going to use the leg straps, I would recommend that you use the tail strap. Simply grab the horse's tail, pull it through the braided strap, and it prevents the blanket from blowing up in the wind. Okay, I'm going to show you the county cooler. Uh, this is a phenomenal blanket. It's a really, really good weight fabric um, that can be used for many, many different purposes. The outer layer is an igloo polar fleece, and then the inner white layer is a cool max fabric for the moisture management benefits as well. Um, I'm going to show you how to do this. Okay, the front on this blanket has a Velcro piece. First, snap your Velcro together. Snap your easy accessible snap rings on. And then you can adjust the straps accordingly. Once you've set the size in place, you will only have to really use the snaps. Rather than use the conventional buckles, just use the snaps to take it on and off. As you can see, the cooler has been made the same as the scrim sheet. We've made the wither really high and very far forward. This prevents any pulling back from this area and it prevents the blanket from splitting and pulling back on the chest area, which will prevent the rubbing. The inside layer of Cool Max goes throughout the blanket. When we get to the middle of the horse, we'll see we have what's called a hidden surcingle, which is a hidden belly strap. You simply lift up the blanket, pop the snap in, and adjust accordingly. I would make sure that you only have a hand's distance between the strap and the horse's belly. Also has a rubber grommet to stop this buckle from coming undone. This cooler can be used for so many purposes. You can use this cooler at a show, in a trailer, after a bath, simply for cooling out a horse. You can use it as a layering effect to go underneath any of your other blankets. It's fully machine washable. Anyone that owns a horse that has a fleece cooler knows that the minute your fleece sees a little bit of sawdust or shavings, it's a little bit of a disaster. Um, what we have found and why we have used this fleece is you can put the shavings on the blanket, let the horse sleep in the blanket overnight, even if you're at a show, and this will simply brush off this type of fleece. Just get a soft brush, give it a brush, and the blanket comes out looking like new. You will not find that with most fleece blankets you buy. Hi, our scrims and coolers both come with removable leg straps. Um, they're all on the D-rings, they're full snaps, really good quality hardware. We're going to come to the back of the horse and do our leg strap up, which has a fully adjustable slider, so you're going to adjust it according to your needs. Loop it through and click it onto your D-ring and adjust accordingly. You can adjust it from the, when it's on or you can adjust it before you need to clip it up. Just make sure if you're leaving the horse in overnight, we always cross the leg straps on these blankets just to make sure there's no movement on them. Okay, just going to show you quickly again on the front. Our Velcro, our hook snaps, adjustable chest areas with a buckle, 
Once that's been adjusted, you don't need to adjust it time and time again. Just simply take it on and off with the hook snap. The blanket is cut very high over the withers to prevent pulling on the chest and pulling on the wither area. We have a hidden sir single belly strap and removable and adjustable leg straps. Hi, next we're going to show you the winter blanket. Just going to start off by showing you that it comes with a removable liner. Just showing you the liner. The liner's cut to shape and just comes with one Velcro strap at the front. Again, we've gone for the high cut on the withers to prevent any pulling back. You'll notice that there is a Velcro strap on the neck, and this is so you can attach it into the waterproof outer layer. It's a 200 gram quilted polyfill, and the outer is a ballistic nylon. We have two belly crossover straps. Both have rubber grommets on them to stop them coming undone. You're going to notice when you're fitting your blanket that the liner is actually cut about four inches shorter than the outer blanket. There is a reason for that. We want the liner to be way up inside the outer waterproof so it does not get damp and wet if they're out in the rain. Okay, now I'm going to add the outer waterproof shell on top of the inner liner. Okay, now you're going to attach the waterproof outer shell to the inner liner if you're going to use both. Take the Velcro tab and you poke it through the square attachment and you press the Velcro so it's actually attached to the blanket. There's one of these on both sides of the blanket so make sure you have done up both. Now we're going to move the removable neck cover. What's great about this blanket is if you don't want to use the neck, just simply Velcro it off. Underneath the neck are the tabs, the Velcro tabs to keep your neck done up. And if Foreman doesn't bite me, we may be able to get them done up. Right? Okay, we're just going to do up the front of the blanket. We're going to pop the Velcro in the Velcro pocket, do up the outer edge. That just doubly secures the front fastening on the blanket. We're going to grab the snaps and put them on our ball ring. The reason for this neck is to give more movement and freedom of movement when they're running in the paddock. If the blanket is loose on the chest, you will want to adjust it by the buckle straps here. Once they have been adjusted, you only need to use the snaps. Okay, I'm going to show you what the neck hood looks like once it's been fitted and put together on the blanket. You're going to see that it looks kind of wrinkly and wrinkly at the top. It's for a reason. When you turn these horses out, when they are grazing, which 90% of them are doing when they are turned out, you're going to find that there is going to be enough neck to keep that neck dry. As the horse puts its head down, it's going to give you two or three inches to keep the neck covered all the way. Most neck blankets are cut too short, which ends up when they're grazing, pulling back and soaking the neck. The water will run down inside and soak the inside of the neck. Okay, just going to tell you a little bit of reasoning behind the shape on this blanket and why we don't have kick pleats. A lot of people think you have to have a kick pleat for the blanket to fit in the chest. It is not true. Depending on the cut of the blanket, as you can see, we've done a wave cut for both the liner and the outer shell. The wave cut, just purely for the cut in the chest and the cut in the front, is going to allow for the movement in the front of the chest so we don't have any pulling. We've added the cross strap belly straps. Make sure when you are attaching them that you do cross them over. And you're going to tighten these accordingly. Because this blanket is the wave cut, you're going to make sure that your belly straps are pretty tight. Finally, I'm going to take you to the back of the blanket. When you get to the rear of the blanket, you're going to find two triangular D-rings at the back. the liner, you'll find that there is a snap snap one of the snaps to attach that to the outer layer. The other one can be used for additional leg straps if you want to use them. On this particular cut of blanket, you do not need leg straps. Just make sure that when you do up the belly straps that they are particularly tight. The tail flap on the outer blanket is really wide. It's really lightweight, so a horse can lift the tail up no problem. 
Um, you will find that because we've only used one piece of fabric, so we don't have any leakage on the rear seam, that the tail cut is really, really good on a larger horse. As you can see, when Foreman's got his head down as if he was grazing, the actual neck hood follows his head all the way to behind his ears. Um, and that's why you see the excess ruffling when you first do it up. You think it's too big, but it actually is. Just to recap, the outer layer of the waterproof blanket is made from 1680 denier, which is one of the strongest nylon deniers you can actually produce. It also is lined with 100 gram polyfill, so you do have a little bit of warmth, but you could use it as an option as a rain sheet. And then our inner liner is a 200 gram fill, polyfill nylon liner, so you can make a rain sheet turn into a 300 gram winter blanket at the same time. Just to recap, we have three new blankets. They all come in two colours. They come in County Blue, which has the dressage logo, and they come in County Green, which has the jumper logo. You're going to love all three products. They are probably the three of the best products on the market at the moment. The cooler and the screen sheep are fully machine washable and can go in the dryer as well. So just showing you again, if you're not using the leg straps, please make sure that you put the tail brake under the tail. It prevents any gusts of winds coming from behind and blowing the blanket over the top of the horse.